Who's ready for story time with Aunt Dina? Miss Danielle's got some stories. All right, so once upon a time, when Miss Danielle came up to work on Mackinac Island, she'd met a fugitive. And he brought her out here and made one of the scorch marks out here. Now, what this particular young man doesn't realize is that along here, okay, this whole area here, we were looking at this. This is all natural, okay? So erosion, snow, rain, all that other stuff is naturally occurring here on its own. It's been here that long. They don't want that portion to be disturbed. Now, what I don't believe my mentally handicapped will punch himself in the face in a state of psychosis type of friend was aware that there is that metal retainer in the ground. Okay, now not knowing the whole story behind this particular retainer, I can't make any sense or logic appear out of anywhere why a fire pit would need to be anywhere near the water line. Now, where Miss Danielle has graciously used another alias, the name was Fuck You, I don't think he understood that I, I, I'm pretty sure he was aware I'm not Asian, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of an oriental name, but I got my recreational passport. I paid for it on my car. I can sit in a parking space for up to 72 hours. I have my fire pit with a lid, and um, I can enjoy being back in an area that the permit on my vehicle allows me to occupy a space for up to 72 hours. Now, when the DNR does the best work that they can, they make sure that your outhouses are stocked and pumped. When we get short staffed in a lot of different areas in Michigan and all over the nation actually, people get frustrated and not every local has the property where they can just go fishing, get off the water or step out the water and decide that they would like to be able to barbecue out a meal, okay? People work on the island and they just want to get away and yet for some reason there's not a single barbecue circular pit that has the flip lid around the fire, like the, the boat launches. So people that get their sea legs are still not provided at least one area to enjoy a meal and relax should they have hot dogs or anything if they catch something. If they want to sit and relax when they get off the water, a lot of people are like, well, just get your shit and go. If God was like that, oh, sweet Lord Jesus, heaven would be a whole different place. Remember, when you're in God's judgment, he take away all hope. And you put all your trust in but a spider's web. So, in knowing that someplace a little further okay from the beautiful water okay that is literally the lake right there okay if you love me you will walk me you will feed me you will pet me you might actually attempt to wash me at some point but you want me to be fit and healthy you want me to have a long life if two people are working and they just want to be able to get away for a second and they're in a position of being a guest on the island, working there, they have a host and they're supposed to be a good guest, you make it a little hard for someone to be a good guest if they don't have the opportunity to. And some people's closed-minded thinking would be to put possible unhealthy things that can create compromised integrity, okay? Dig in a hole for one of those drum grills by that retainer or anywhere near it. You could hit the retainer and some would say put it on the inside of the retainer, but that's not the purpose. People would have to dance around or, or stand around a grill or a fire pit and I can't see having people enjoy themselves and know that adults will consume alcohol. I can't do that. I will tell a DNR worker my name is fuck you because it's been how many years that people have been up here and not been furnished one 
thoughtful convenience to them. This is DNR spots. This is not the neighbor who lives right abutting the driveway. This is not their property. If they're thoughtful enough to actually come through here and cut the grass, thank you, that's nice. It reduces the bugs, especially when you shoot them towards the water and feed the fish. They want to come right up by the shoreline. But, like, if somebody loves you, they're going to care for you the right way. And if somebody really, really, really cares about their state, they learn state guidelines. If you've got a pit with a lid on it, you can burn without a permit. Even if they put one out here, you would still need a permit if you didn't have a lid to put on the thing. So, in a catch-22, if you're not citing people for attempted forest fires, because there's four scorch marks over there, at the least, I'm going to have to call bullshit and hope that uh, someone from my hunting, fishing, woodsman's gang nails your ass.